Hey everybody and welcome to Cooking with the Twins. I'm Kirsty and today we have Paige recording. Hey everyone. Hey. And tonight we're making a modified jambalaya because I don't eat onions or celery in it so we changed it a little bit and a side of sauteed asparagus. So here are our ingredients. We have um, large shrimp, uh, crab meat, a little bit of chicken since we're adding so many ingredients, um, some andouille sausage, green onions, uh, sliced bell peppers and rice. We're gonna add some seafood stock as well as a little bit of chicken stock. Some crushed uh, tomatoes. And here are the, all the uh, seasonings we're gonna be using today. All right guys, so we're gonna start by adding our sausages. Um, we didn't put any oil because this creates its own oil and we're gonna use the dripping from it to season the rest of our dish. Just want them to brown a little bit, okay? All right, guys, so it's been about five minutes and our sausage is nice and brown. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. Um, we're using regular andouille sausage for this one, but we also found that Genio makes a turkey andouille sausage for all you non-pork eaters out there. And we're gonna be using that in a supper dish um, that we're not filming for my dad, because he doesn't eat pork and he's allergic to seafood. I'm just gonna remove this. And then we're gonna add our chicken to the same pan to cook in the dripping. So I turned the heat down to a little bit. We only have a little bit of chicken, like I stated before. I turned it down to like a medium low heat rather than a medium high. I'm just gonna hit the chicken a little, with some a little um, Cajun season. And we're gonna use um, the other seasons a little later on. I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna smell good. Let this cook. And once we cook up the chicken, we're going to add the rest our vegetables. And then our tomato. Fresh tomato. Alright guys, so our chicken is just about done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of our peppers. Release them for my dad and some of our green onion. Let this cook just for a little bit. We don't want the vegetables to like wilt away. We're gonna cook for a few minutes and then we're gonna add in our crushed tomatoes and the seafood stock that we're using. All right guys, so our vegetables have been cooking up for about three to four minutes. I'm just gonna add about two teaspoons of tomato paste before I add the crushed tomato. So we a little bit. And I'm gonna add the crushed tomatoes. So now our chicken and vegetables just come to a simmer. I'm just gonna add the whole carton of seafood stock. And about one cup of chicken broth. I'm gonna stir and we're gonna bring them to a boil and once it starts boiling, we're gonna add our rice. All right, so now that our pot has come to a boil, I'm gonna season it with a little black pepper and you can season to taste. A little black pepper, some pink Himalayan salt. I'm not gonna add too much salt because the Creole seasoning has salt in it as well. So what is this? This is the Tony Saturi's Creole seasoning, guys. If you haven't heard of it, it's so good. We use it in our gumbo. And some thyme. Just a little sprinkle of thyme. I'm just gonna stir it. I'm 
I'm also going to add a couple of bay leaves. All right, guys, so we added our rice. We added about four cups of rice. And the only reason why we didn't film it is because it can get a little messy after you rinse it. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the sausage and give it a stir. That way everything is mixed in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook for a little bit and then we're going to add our shrimp at the last minute since it only takes shrimp like a few minutes to cook. So once this comes to a simmer for after about 20 minutes, we're going to add our shrimp in and then... And like most of the like broth is kind of out, we're going to add the shrimp. So yeah, get rid of this out. I'm going to put a few bay leaves on top just for flavor and I'm going to remove them before we add our shrimp. So guys, now that you see our broth is out, it's been about, about 10, I would say 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our crab because we almost forgot to add this in. And this is just claw meat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of stir it after I add the shrimp, but not really. And I went ahead and removed our bay leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and just push this down. We have about like a pound and a half of shrimp, large shrimp. And I'm gonna just gauge here to see, you know, maybe I might need to add my broth. This is our first time making this. So, we'll see. I'm gonna just like gently move this around. Try to get some of them in there. It smells so good. And cover this back up. Dun, dun, dun. So our jambalaya is finished, and we're gonna come back and plate it and show you what, the, like, show you what it looks like with the asparagus. And we'll be done.